everybody welcome back to another edition of 10 minute jobs today yet again we're working on my 2015 silverado we're going to do the automatic transmission fluid change um, similar to what i did on my wife's gmc terrain um, according to the manual it's supposed to be done every 30,000 miles um, again i bought the truck somewhere around 50,000. it's now at 70 something i have no idea whether they did it or not i'm going to go ahead and do it um, using again Amsoil's OE full synthetic transmission fluid. Um, I don't know, that's what I use in the transfer case. Pretty much use their stuff all over my truck. Um, I think I'm finally going to change the oil on it from when I put in the Amsoil that's rated to 25,000 miles. Um, we'll see what that looks like. I think it's going to be really interesting. Right now I'm almost at 17,000 miles. This is the farthest I've ever gone. Oil looks great on the dipstick, smells fine, so I feel good about it. It's guaranteed. I've got one of their filters, all that stuff, but uh, I don't think I'm going to go 25,000 miles. Anyways, we're here to talk about automatic transmission fluid and filter. So again, every 30,000 miles, um, we're going to knock that out. So I've already got jacked up, emergency brake on, ready to go. So. Um, Catch you right back when we get underneath there. All right, guys, we're set up underneath the truck here. Um, here's our um, pan for transmission. So as you can see, we've got all these bolts around here. Hopefully you can see that they're 10 millimeter. So what I'm going to do is loosen them. I'm going to start on this end, keep my pan as close to right underneath it as I can. And hopefully the idea will be to lean it this way get as much fluid out as I can where it's just a little bit lean and then loosen the rest until I can get it all the way out so watching um, other videos it everyone else pretty much had to mess with their exhaust in one way or another a lot of guys went back there and pried it down and pushed up on the end like the transfer case which is right above you to try to create a little clearance to get it all the way out so uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it All right, here we go. It's starting to drip already. It's probably gonna be messy, no doubt about it. And it's gonna be hot too. That's gonna be the fun part. <laughs> gonna try to drain it slow. Okay guys, so I ended up, as you may have seen, in that uh, fast motion deal. Instead of tipping this way, I went this way. I think that's because I jacked up the front. Obviously, it should have been common sense. But I've got it draining quite a bit, pretty much as much as I can get out at this point. Um, while it was draining, I also went and stuck my jack right here. 
on the transfer case if we can see that it went up just slightly and then i stuck a ratchet strap over there to my jack stand and pulled down on this exhaust so again that's what i was saying i noticed people were doing when they were doing this job is that was the only way to get this all the way out so anyways at this point all that's holding this pan on are two bolts here and here so i'm going to try to wiggle in here and I think actually I've got to now tip it the other way. So I'm gonna stick one of these back in here just temporarily to hold it up. Move my drain pan. And my mess. And come over here. I'm gonna try to tip it out this way. one out again there's still a lot of fluid in here yet so we'll take this last bolt out try to get a better grip on it here okay that's out slowly come forward still nothing's coming out well I'm a pan up better Got some a little more fluid. Gaskets here. All right, I'm gonna fight this. All right, we got it. Hopefully, we cut that. Got it out of there. Just pulled down the exhaust a little more on my ratchet strap. A little bit more up. Fit right out. So now this is our filter. We have a new one. I have a new gasket as well. Pop, ooh, that's warm. Pop that out. Drain it out. Fluid doesn't look all that bad. Doesn't smell burnt. It's not cherry red. You'll see the difference when we go to do our fill. But now at this point, we're gonna go clean the pan check the gasket I've got a new one I have a feeling I'll just go ahead and put the new one on clean the gasket clean the pan clean up all the way around here just like we did on a rear differential um, if you saw that video and then we'll put everything back together fill it back up easy peasy all right so I have my pan all nice and cleaned up this is my new filter and my new gasket there's the old gasket Wiped everything down as you can see with my magnet. Wipe that down as well. Nice and clean. Just use brake clean and a bunch of rags. Right? Wiped the first rag was one of these, get most of the gunk out, and then I started using those ones to get it up real nice and neat. You really want to make sure you have this edge real clean down here. Okay, so then the other thing that I didn't honestly realize came with my kit is this gasket if you will it goes up inside the transmission so that when you stick your filter in it seals right here so what I'm gonna do next is go underneath of there and try to get the old one out this is my plan all right so there it is right up in here through your filter goes in and that is the gasket right there so that's my next challenge is try to get that guy out so one video I saw the guy took and essentially crushed the side of it until he could get a hold of it with some pliers and then yanked it out 
I'm going to try a pick first up around the top, try to work it around, see if I can pull it down because you really don't want to damage the outside wall. That would be bad. So here we go. Hopefully you got to see. So now, got the new one here. It's got a socket that matches. Just barely smaller, so they can drive it up in there. First, I'm gonna spray it down with a little silicone lubricant. Just help with that installation process. We'll get it started. And then take your socket and try to drive it straight as I can right up in there. Nice and easy, keep checking what you're doing. Yep, looks even all the way around. Wipe it down one more time. Put our pan on. Pounds. Important you remember it's inch. Alright, got a new battery. Back to it. So, what I was saying 80 inch pounds. So, we're going to torque these two nice and slow, just working my way around. I'm going to actually start at six, go around, and then I'll crank it up to six point, what was it? 6.67 foot pounds because that's what this guy's in foot pounds so six foot pounds first so here we go all right 
so this is what came out. See, it's pretty black. You got a little slight red tint. Now, I'll show you what goes back in. Set you up here. So we gotta fill it up through the dipstick. I don't know if you can see that, but it is bright red. That's what we want. Next jug, I'm just gonna keep going. All right, so we just went for a test drive. I um, took out, I dumped it into the empty jugs. So I put six quarts in, and then I dumped the old into those empty jugs, and it came out to about five and three quarters, six quarts. So now I'm taking it for a drive to warm it up. It's at idle, trucks level, which are important. So I'm um, check the temperature, truck has temperature reading for transmission. I should be between the hot marks. And I'm not sure if you can see that at all, but we are right there. Maybe just at the bottom of that range where it says hot there. So that is really good. I think I no, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm going on a road trip. Got about seven hour road trip tomorrow, 500 miles. I'm gonna take a little bit of fluid with me just in case. But that does it. Another 10 minute job done. Boom. Anybody can do it, guys. Anybody can do it. So 2015 Chevy Silverado, four wheel drive, 1500, all those things. Um, check out my other videos, like, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.